Ah, tea eggs, savory, traditional snacks of the East. Now imagine that with urine. Here we are again. We've talked about the sewer oil epidemic in the street food of China, how a lot of street vendors in some restaurants will go to the actual sewer and gather up the goo and reuse the oil to cook food. If you want to go down that rabbit hole, the link is below. A little FYI on that one. While sewer oil isn't a thing in the U.S., as far as I know, lots of fast food restaurants in the U.S. use cooking oils a lot longer than they should, and continuing to burn the same oil is also toxic. With that being said, hi, I'm Crystal. This is Getting Spooky, where we talk about the creepy, weird, and obscure. And today, I'm going to tell you about the delicacy in China known as virgin boy eggs, and how they're still eaten today. In the Dongyang province, Tanzi Dan, or boy eggs, a local delicacy has been consumed for both medicinal and snack purposes. They're really only available in one city, Dongyang, in the Zijiang province, and only in the springtime. So getting them isn't too easy. This sucker is said to help with things like blood pressure and heart disease. If you eat this, you will not get heat stroke. These eggs cooked in urine are fragrant. They are good for your health. Our family has them for every meal. In Donyang, every family likes eating them. Tongzi Dan are very similar to tea eggs, eggs which are boiled in tea. They have a marble sort of appearance. However, these are not tea eggs, and they're actually cooked in child boy urine, preferably under 10. Said to have been consumed for centuries, nowadays the main ingredient is collected in various ways including collection points at local primary schools and vendors who purchase from local families, or they set buckets outside for the boys to use. While I'm not a brave person in this sense, luckily for us, there are people who would like to try everything in this world and share that with us. Mr. Frank Castle is that brave person whose stomach was able to hold down a boy egg long enough to describe what it was like in his blog. He describes a faint urine smell pre-shelled, after shelled, he comments on black marbling. The white of the egg has absorbed the urine, so it is yellow. Frank says, Have you ever changed the bed sheet for a child who wet the bed at night? If so, you may recall the way that the air is heavy with the odor of stale urine and that your fingers feel a bit slimy after touching the soiled linens. Throw in the smell of egg for good measure, and that's exactly what it's like to hold a boy egg. And he ate it. He said it was interesting how the urine smell didn't transfer over to the egg itself and how the yolk tasted normal. Of course, these eggs aren't something that is normally eaten or widely accepted. It's pretty limited to the province. And even then, like I said, it's only in the spring and a very small group of vendors. Kazu Marzu, the illegal cheese that's crawling with maggots. Kazu marzu is described as having a spicy flavor. Also referred to as rotting cheese, the process this cheese goes through actually intentionally includes maggots. As a cheese is set out to cure or ferment or whatever happens to cheese, a type of fruit fly will come and deposit their eggs into the cheese, which causes the maggots. Makers of this cheese will also deliberately cut holes into it to allow easier access for the flies to put their little ones in there. Originally, the cheese is a pecorino cheese that's slightly overripe. When the maggots eat the cheese, they ooze a liquid called larigma, which gives the inside of the cheese its creamy texture and really strong smell. When the maggots feel like they're in danger, they can jump up to 15 centimeters, so you may end up with them in your eyes, face, hair. If ingested alive, they can cause tons of problems in your intestinal tract, and they like to bore holes in your intestinal lining as well. I mentioned the taste before, and it's said to taste spicy and leaves a slightly burning sensation on your tongue. It also has a strong, rottenish flavor. So good luck trying to muscle that down your hole. To get it, you would have to go to a specific region in the Mediterranean, but be prepared to pay a pretty penny. The cheese is only available in the black market as it's illegal to sell in the EU. Scientists are trying to create a kazu marzu 
that is safe to be sold by the EU by breeding special flies that haven't been contaminated with feces or other things in the outside world. I love me some cheese, but I don't love me some cheese like that. I also don't like the idea of having to wear protective eyewear to prevent maggots from pinging into my eyeballs combined with the whole boring into the intestines. It all sounds so dangerous. Hikari, decomposed shark carcass. To live and thrive in the climate of Iceland, the Vikings needed a way to use the resources available to them. One being the Greenland shark. This shark is wild because it can live centuries. Its babies take almost 10 years to gestate and the meat is poison to animals unless you let it rot. The Vikings discovered if you ferment the meat and let it dry, it rids it of its poison. The fermentation process takes about two to four months. In that time, it's hung in a dry, cool place where it gets this brown crust. It looks good hanging there. The smell itself is said to be very ammonia-ish, something like hair dye mixed with cheese. And the taste is very strong, like a blue cheese with the aftertaste of pee. Some people think tripe is hard to eat. I eat menudo, which has tripe in it, with hominy and other spices. But what's something that you may eat that others would think is just completely obscure? I've had this conversation with you on my Patreon, and some of you eat really weird shit. If you want to hang out also, by the way, it's only a dollar. So let me know in the comments. Well, that's going to wrap this one up. We're almost at 100k, and that fills my heart with so much love. So if you haven't subscribed, definitely do that now. And as always, my name is Crystal. This is Getting Spooky, and I'm out.